Beautiful atmosphere here on Poland. We're going to push up to our uh, spot I was talking about. Oh. <laughs> That's incredibly not effective at all, but it looks fan flipping fantastic. This might be one of the sexiest tanks in the game. This is the Lorraine 40T French 6.3. Battle rating medium tank that has a hundred millimeter autoloader that can shoot seven rounds before it needs to long reload. Now, yes, and it also has tires. I don't really know the pros and cons to have rubber inflatable wheels, but maybe you could increase the inflation or decrease for comfortability or comfort for the, the crew. But it's just a, a weird, weird thing. I think the two things that really make this tank is its top speed it's reverse speed and it's 100 millimeter auto loading gun. Now, the downside to a lot of the French vehicles is that a lot of them shoot solid shot. But at the same time, you have to remember that you have seven shots to follow up very, very quickly. You can put nine shots per minute, nine shots per minute. So uh, this is kind of fucked up. So the exact number is six seconds, point six, 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 six. So uh, Satan confirmed. So once the first shell enters, 6.6666666, I'm going to die tonight. Um, seconds later, you can follow up with another shot. And I'm going to guess that it's going to take on average two shots to kill an enemy tank. Is this like a proper custom battle or are there... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't hurt me, Slick. Not that thing. Beautiful atmosphere here on Poland. We're going to push up to our uh, spot I was talking about. Oh! <laughs> That's incredibly not effective at all, but it looks fan flipping fantastic. Oh, we got enemy tank to our left, hard left. Gun back down. Oh, it's a S. It's a uh, Puma. That's just nice. That's just really, really nice. So already reloaded. We got six shots left. And you know, the, the, the hundred millimeter sure is solid shot, but it's such a big solid shot that it's bound to hit some crew and tear up the inside of the tank. Now one downside to oscillating turrets, they don't have the best elevation compared to a lot of the tanks we're used to. That looks so derpy, doesn't it? Hey, you guys. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of people here. We got a big push. Nice. KPZ. Maybe we'll get some support from our guys in the rear. We got an M4 um, FL10, which has the AMX 13's turret on the Sherman. Can we get more to the... Oh, this guy's going to poke out. Good hit. A lot of ooh, a lot of shrapnel happens, as you saw when it hit that when it hit his I don't know what we killed. Ouch. A lot of shrapnel, you could see it in the tank, and if we hit center of mass with that shot, I think we would have killed him one shot. Oh break. Oh, oh I thought it missed us! It looked like it did right there. Oh God, that shrapnel to our driver too. Ooh, and another thing that's bad about this tank is the amount of crew in the turret. And so if a Russian APHE strikes home in the turret, you are dead in one shot, almost always. So I've joined a new custom battle. I wanted to switch it up. Last last battle just felt like us like shooting at name tags and I didn't want to show this thing in that light we got an enemy close to us i think he just died actually though and there's a lot of ai yes ss11 destroyed and we're on the reload god this thing's mobility is beautiful if 
only had a stabilizer, you know? Like, why why couldn't you just have a stabilizer? I mean, you got an oscillating turret, just put just put in a stabilizer. Um, if that was the case, this thing would be like a 7.7. .7. This guy has to see me approaching. I think, I think it's the M43. Here he is, here he is. Okay. Now, those are really easy tanks to kill. Would just devastate. Yes! Oh, oh wait, okay, that wasn't a Fosh. Fosh. If that was a Fosh, we would have. That would have been a nice kill. Jeez Louise. But if you shoot any kind of turret shot on these uh, French tanks and have an explosive filler in your round, or maybe even just a Sabo, high velocity. It's going to be able to take these guys down in one shot. No, thank you. No, thank you. Are those 50 cows? Yeah, 50 cows. I didn't really look at the top deck armor of this thing, but uh, there's another Bane that this thing will have to face. Luckily, though, the French are allies, so majority of the times they'll hopefully get put with the Americans. Oh, we got two. We got two. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, well, that is the dev server for you. This Cheeto is under fire by a Tiger E, it looks like. SU-85 to our right. Looks like an AI, though. Critical. That guy's going to burn up. Beautiful. Yeah, really nice rattling with the 100 millimeter. If you get a center of mass shot, they're going to... Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I, I, I just want to try my tank out. Oh, here he, here he comes again. Well. Yeah. Kill me. Guys, welcome back. I've taken the liberty to make my ooh, geez, own custom battle just so we get a more realistic feel for how this thing will play out in RB. And pretty much what I've done, I've just taken off HUD or um, enemy markers. So you can't just sit, you know, and shoot across the map at a name tag. And also, we're on Middle East, which is the map that we all play. Well, it depends on when you joined. Oh, Jesus. Uh, the map that we played for April Fools with the T90s and the uh, Leos. There's someone else over here. No, no. Okay, that guy's done. Okay, right here's a nifty spot. We got an AI T34 pushing up. Maybe he's not. No, I'm pretty sure he's AI. Yeah, he is. Ooh, we have some campers up on that hill. Now, once this A... Hopefully, this guy spawns so I can see what I'm doing here. Yes, nice, nice. This is a very, very nifty spot. Oh, that's... Okay. Eh. Oh, only two. His ammo's down below. Okay, he's dead. Now, where... Ooh. One guy's right here. You see me through the smoke. Fucking hats off to that shot. Reload it, reload it, reload it. Okay, dokie. Okay, we're kind of back to our original position. Is that something? That is something. Ooh, that should have... Jeez, man. 
You gotta hit spot on. Okay, it looks it looks kind of safe. Thank God this is AI. I would have been dead. Yes, T-64, help me out. I I can kind of see the... We got a cap to keep this game alive. Let's see if anyone's overlooking this position. This is going to be my death. This is going to be my death. This is going to be my death. Get in cover. Yes, cap it, team. Good, 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 good. Okay, I'm going to try to get back to that same spot I was at earlier. That's really good to uh, stop incoming. Oh, good gosh. Look at this crafty spot. Oh, Jesus. We've captured most of the strategic zones. He's right here. I don't think we can lob a shot in there. There was one more on this hill. Oh, Jesus. Two more shots left. I think the biggest downside to these French tanks isn't the armor or its solid shot. And I personally enjoy this solid shot so far. I've had some, some bad experiences with it, but m most of the time it does some good work. It's the... It's this. That's just going to ruin close range engagements. And it's kind of cool they were able to fit that meta in with these new turrets. Okay, we're going to poke out. Again, we are fully reloaded. No, 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 no. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, what? Oh, it hit me. It hit me, hit me. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll repair 24 seconds. I might have been able to get the shot off quicker if I wasn't using an oscillating turret. And if I had a uh, stabilizer, that'd be nice. But this is a 6.3-er. Oh gosh, we're getting pushed. There's an AMX 50 Fosh out. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Don't really want to risk this again. Risk. Oh, God, that's not happy. Oh, okay. Okay, that's just not fair. That's not fair at all. That's cheating. That's cheating. Ah, oh, GG. Fellas, hope you have enjoyed this video today with the Lorraine 40T. Ah, oh, it's nice. It's a nice tank for 6.3. Really, really nice. It's just going to be a little challenging to use up close and personal unless you just get the uh, whole turret bounce down. Again, guys, hope you have enjoyed. Have a great day. Peace out.